Well, the Touchless Vineyard uh, experiment uh, started as a demonstration uh, first, but then uh, it turned into a full-blown uh, research project. It started as a you know way of uh, saving our uh, labor costs, but then uh, when we started looking at the uh, physiological uh, aspects of uh, how these uh, plants grow, we saw the uh, benefits of it uh, from the uh, quality uh, point of view, in addition to the uh, labor savings. These uh, clusters uh, set uh, far fewer uh, berries than a uh, traditionally uh, managed uh, vineyard, but the berry sizes are also uh, very small, which is what the uh, winemakers like. It's costing us uh, roughly about a dollar to manage uh, these plants, labor operation cost. Traditionally uh, farm vineyards, dollar a plant, we roughly have about uh, 1,300 uh, plants to the acre in the uh, north coast now. Now these are uh, costing us about uh, seven cents in our uh, labor operations cost. So the uh, biggest uh, expense is our uh, pruning. After that, uh, we go through uh, what they call uh, trunk suckering, which is also done uh, mechanically here. After that, uh, they will do uh, some sort of uh, shoe removal to uh, open up the canopy. That's also done mechanically. After that, if there is need, they will do a uh, leaf removal. That's also done uh, mechanically. And uh, one last resort, if there's uh, too much crop here, uh, they will uh, you know, shake off uh, excess berries with the harvester. Uh, about 35% uh, of the uh, active uh, leaf area of this plant on, is on the outside uh, periphery. So they both have the uh, same amount of uh, leaf area, but these leaves are uh, more efficient users of water. So comparatively speaking, the uh, no-touch vineyard has a uh, less water uh, footprint compared to uh, traditional uh, systems. We made the uh, wines uh, from these uh, last year that are compared to our uh, traditionally uh, farmed uh, vineyards. Until uh, we tell people uh, what it is, you cannot uh, distinguish the uh, quality of the uh, fruit or the uh, wine.